Hi everyone, welcome to Bumblebee Crafts. Thanks for tuning in to another video from me. Hello and welcome to any new subscribers. Today it's Design Team Tuesday and today it's for Rach and Bella Crafts and I'm using her lovely Williams Walls kit um, that she recently bought out. And I thought they are perfect to make these cute little notebooks. Um, she's got a video and obviously I'll leave all the links below to Rachel's Kofi where you can get the um, kit. But they're just, as the name suggests, samples of like the wallpapers and oh, they're just absolutely stunning. I mean, look at them. There's so many different designs. It's a lovely big kit and they are perfect for all sorts of things. Um, I love background kits um, because they're so versatile. So I need a couple of little notebooks. Um, one to record my um, knitting, my rows. Every time I do a row, I need to mark one off. Um, so I need a little notebook for that. And I need a little notebook for my slow stitching projects. So I've made one here out of some old envelopes. I found these and thought, oh, these would be good to use as the base. Um, and I thought I would show you how I made it. So it's just a little mini notebook journal got a little tie around there I've decorated it up these have been cut from Rachel's um, grunge essential kits um, back in January February time she bought out um, a range of the kits in the um, brown blue and pink shades and I did a, a mass fussy cutting um, session with them all because they were a background kit and I just thought they went lovely on there because it's going to be for dressmaking and knitting and stuff. Um, I've got myself a little pocket in here, put some more of that lace trim on here and another pocket at the back so it's nice and simple and because it's a notebook I want all the pages to be plain. I might decorate that front page up, I'm not sure yet but uh, yeah nice and plain, cute little notebook. So let's make some, let's make two more, um, if we get time to do two more. The video might just be one, but uh, yeah, I'll show you how I put these together from these envelopes. Uh, where are we trying to get that so that that's not twisted? There we go. So move that to the side, move these here. So you need two of these envelopes and let's move them up there for now while we create the base. So how I did them was turned them so that they were like that and I want one I can tuck in there that little flap and the other one is going to go on there so I'm just going to get that like so and I think yeah, I think I'm going to stick this bit down first. I think that's what I did last time. So let's get my glue ready. Peel that off. I'm just putting extra glue on this. Obviously everything's all going to be covered by the lovely wallpaper, but uh, we need to glue bits down first. Okay, so they're joined and all I need to do is, is glue that one together, but I want to make it shorter. Um, this height, this one was A5, um, or it's just slightly higher than A5. I've gone for... Looks like it's just over 15 in the end. Yeah. So need to just cut a piece off of this. Okay. So yeah, I've got 15 marks there. So pop this in here and we wanted... Oh yeah, I did it as 6 on here because just over 15... Yeah, make it six inches. That's the bit that we want off. Which 
means my pages that I've already got prepared will go in there perfectly. Brilliant. Okay, so that opens this bottom bit up, which actually makes it easier to now um, glue this flap down. So I'm just going to put some glue on here that back in there and glue that down okay now with these envelopes I don't know about yours but I get a funny little lip inside here um, you can see there it's not joined all the way and that's anything you put in the pocket is going to catch on that so I'm just going to thankfully I've got a nice point on my needle here on my glue I'm just going to run some glue along the inside of here and just glue that shut yeah so that that's all nice and flush now it's not going to catch on anything we are going to cover on the inside um, this back bit I just need to do this first So that's all stuck down now. Now I, let's have a little look at this one. Yeah, I did, I cut this down straight down here. So I'm going to snip this little bit off and the same this side. And then they can just be snipped off like so. Okay, so now we're ready to cover the inside. It also helps strengthen it because these envelopes are really, really thin. So what do we need? We need a design for the inside, design for the two pockets, and then a design for there. So let's have a little rummage through these gorgeous pages from Rachel and Bella Crafts and have a look to see if I can see three that I really like um, that I think I could use. I wanted some that were a little bit on the pinkier side. Yeah, some of these I thought would be quite nice. Just wondering. Had that on there, that on the pocket. Or maybe that on the inside, that on the pocket. So many, so many to choose from. It's hard to choose because it's just so gorgeous. Not that on the inside. No, I actually think I like this one on the inside. That can go on the pocket. And then what do we want on the front? That one on the front, I think. There we go. I've already taken the edges off of these. I didn't print it borderless. Um, I just printed it like this. So I've already gone ahead and taken the um, edges off. Okay, so this one is what's going on the inside. So what I need to do is um, cut it down so that it fits on the inside. So we want to cut it about there. 
and then I want a bit that is going to cut down here you'll see um, when I do it so I'm I'm actually going to leave it at that size didn't I yeah um, no I don't actually know I know what I needed to do so I need to just line this up on here so that I get it at a fairly straight there so we need to cut you there. Right, I'm just going to move this up and line it up like so. Because I need to draw a line all the way along this and you'll see when uh, what I mean afterwards okay let's cut it just cut this end off because you don't need this bit okay so that's a nice bit of scrap okay so that's going to tuck in there nicely and now this is what i mean about the bit that i need to cut off we want a flap here and a flap here okay so i'm just gonna i hopefully i can get it straight yep, that's it. there and then cut up to there this bit is going to be cut off can't cut straight and this bit is going to be cut off like so and then what that does is when this is glued in and tucked glued in place here you get this flap that comes down if I can get it all the way down where's it not going down that's why it's stuck that corner so that reinforces that because you fold that over and then you've reinforced this bit at the bottom because I knew I needed something to reinforce that bit um as well so yeah that that's what i do so let's put some glue i think i will put some glue along here because i did find it difficult last time around to actually um glue it in that's why I'm not using glue stick, I'm using this. It gives me more wiggle room. And I'm only gonna do this bottom. Oh, I'll do it all, I'll do it all. Make it easier for me. to make sure it's all glued in yeah well that went in easier than the first one <laughs> probably learnt a better way of doing it so this bit is just going to fold over just to reinforce this edge Mm 
Okay. Like so. Let's tuck our little bit down here to reinforce this little bit. Like so. And that's the inside all covered. Okay. So on the sides, we were having this, weren't we? So if we cut, because it's going to overlap everywhere. We cut there. that way then we do the same with this side we want to just put it about there Yeah, I put the glue on here this time round. Made it easier doing it this way. So I put some glue. All along here and then I just Make sure I've got a good amount by the side and lay that down. Okay, flip that over. Now these corners need to be mitered. Easy enough, this one. And then that one. And then what we need to do is snip at an angle, cutting down into here, like so. You're doing a cut like that. Um, and then what I think I'll probably do is cut that bit off. Yeah, I cut that up to there off. There we go. Cutting that little bit, a little bit like that off. So that that goes over there, that tucks under. And we can easily do this end. We just do that and that. Okay, so first things first, do this flap while we've still got this open. And I think what I did last time around was just fold it first before I glued it so it gives me an edge to follow because it's not folding completely. Where's my little ruler? I'm just going to put my ruler up against the end of the envelope. If it doesn't want to move, there we go. That's it, we got it. So that's the fold. Grease that in. Okay, now we're going to glue it. So it's a bit fiddly to do, but everything gets covered. You get um, good results um, by taking just that little bit of extra time to cover everything. If you've got a stronger envelope, you'll probably be all right, but these envelopes are really thin and weak. There, that's all glued down nicely. Okay, so we can now flip it over and glue all these bits down and that will secure it. That will, yeah, that's the top bit. Okay. 
this side I'm just going to put a bead of glue just on the edge of that um, envelope to hold that down and then an extra glue we can glue the flap over like that and that is pocket number one all nice and smoothed over and complete so we need to do exactly the same for this side so glue on here first Making sure we've got a, a good amount either side. I need to move that up a little bit actually. There we go. So let's miter what corners we can on this side. Do this one this way, easy enough. And then that just leaves this one that uh, we need to come in like so and then cut up to that. There we go. A little bit. Right, okay, so let's fold this over like we did last time. I'm going to use my ruler, that seemed to really help. Use this under the bit of paper. Yeah, that's given a bit of a score line for me to tuck under. go so let's glue this down all around and then the last bit will be the panel for our front cover Just need a bead of glue on that envelope top and then this sort of flap can go over. And that is our second pocket. Doesn't that look lovely? Okay, so our front panel was going to be this. 
So let's just put it on here. And how far do we want it? We want to come about there. Okay, so let's cut that. That's our panel to go on the front. Hello, sorry, the phone cut off there. I had a phone call, incoming phone call, and I didn't realise it doesn't. Um, when I'm recording, my phone doesn't um, ring or anything, so I didn't know until the house phone was ringing. So, uh, right, so yeah, I've literally just cut that ready. So now we glue this on. A nice big front panel. And I did stitch around, um, but we'll see how long we've got left once we've uh, done a bit of the decorating. Right, let's put some glue in here. Okay, now we are ready to put our little cover on. And I was just a little bit overlapping, wasn't I? But enough time to move it. Oops. That's good enough. That is good enough. There. Look at that. That's lovely. Okay. So that needs to dry for a moment or two before I do some stitching. So whilst we are waiting, let's have a little look and see what we want to put on the front and what ribbon I want to use on this one. So let me just grab my ribbon. I have some in here. That's the one that I used um, for that one, but I wanted to use a different one for this one. What have I got? I quite like that one, actually. Let's have a look. Looks a bit frayed. Haven't opened this one. £1.50. Gosh, cost of living. I've obviously had this a while because there's no way I could have got that for £1.50 now. And it looks like we've got like buttons and things like that on there. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect for this. Okay. So, ah, here we go. Look. Oh, look how that's gone. Oh, how interesting. It's completely all frayed. Hmm, that's not very good at all. We can just get there and then there. Oh, how bizarre. I might be able to use that for something. Not oh, me, I don't like to waste anything. Okay, so what length have we got enough to go round? 
yeah I think that's going to be our bit we can chop a bit off afterwards and then what I wanted to do was same as I did last time I had a nice little bit going down here so I think I will wait because the stitching will go around here and I how did I do that yeah I put it on the inside of the stitching so that it showed a bit more of um, a pocket so we'll cut that in a moment so that's going to go on there what's going to go on the front let's have a look in here now these were what i was thinking of was my mannequins that we've got I, the this is a pre-programmed um image on my brother scan and cut machine um, and i just used as i said the backgrounds from um Rach and Bella's um, Grunge Essentials kit. So we've got some pink. Maybe a pink one might be better. Hmm, doesn't show up as much, does it? It's hoping for a bit brighter pink so that it would show. I don't think that one. No. Okay. What was the other ones? I'm going to go with that green one, you know. I quite like that. It's subtle enough. And then the little cog, um, the little spool. And then I just want a a label on the top. Exactly the same style. Because then I can just write um, slow stitching or knitting notes. Yeah, okay, so that's going to go on that one. Oh, I didn't, uh, ooh, actually. No, I think because I haven't got another mannequin in this colour, in the pink, that I think would work. No, I'm going to stick with the green. Stick with the green. Stop being indecisive. <laughs> okay. And then the only other thing is I just put my little um, handmade thingy on the back. Right, okay. So let's ink these while we give that a couple more minutes to dry. And then what I might actually do is bring up my sewing machine onto the desk. I think we've got enough time for that. Um, I'm going to grab him this. around my mannequin okay pops a little bit more now as well doesn't it having that ink around it Again, this is a, um, all three of these are pre-programmed into my brother's scan and cut. I'd like to do some, that'd be quite nice to do some of these with the um, William Morris backgrounds, the William Walls. I think these cut out in some of those would be really nice. Okay. Right, so we've got all our elements that we need. We need one of those, and then there's our ribbon there. So let's bring up the sewing machine. And there we go. I'm just going to plug it in across me for quickness. It's already got some blue in it, which I think the blue would go nice with this anyway. Um, so I just need to take my 
bit of material out that I always just keep under the needle and I always start at the bottom left corner at the back and we're on a zigzag yep we're ready to go so um, it's quite a noisy machine so you might want to turn me down a, a touch on the TV but yeah let's do some stitching Yeah, I just have a piece of old material there that the needle sits in, so it sits down. Okay, let's just wind this back up and then get her out of the way. Put her foot in there. stitching so the only thing I like to do is pull these threads both of them through to the inside and knot them because doing on a zigzag stitch I don't do a back stitch if it was straight stitch I would and then you could just cut the threads off but I just give them a bit of a knot and then we can trim them off there. just pull the thread through. There we go. And snip. There. That's all nice and secure. So now what we need to do is score down the middle. So theoretically, yeah, it's 22, so we need to score at 11. And I'm just making sure we're not going to squash and get a rock on the inside. There we go. Nice and firm. Yep. There, that's our cute little notebook cover. Okay, so we are now ready to stick our little bits on here. Have our little tie closure oh it's gonna be lovely okay so let's glue these on and then we'll come to our pages the pages are already done I just need to do one final step which I don't do for my junk journals 
um, I trim I'm going to trim the edges down of these but for this little notebook because you've not got any lace it's just plain a stack of plain paper or um, I think the one I made here has got yeah it's got lined paper in it those ones have got graft paper in it um, because graft paper will be a bit easier if I'm doing some dressmaking bits so that's straight on there that looks it. Let's grab my weights, my trusty weights. Okay, we can be gluing another one on while we're waiting. I'm conscious that uh, the video's had to stop for the phone call. And then um, I'm doing a second one, so... Uh, can't let this one go over too much. I think the first one we were about 25 minutes, half hour, something like that, I think. Okay, so let's position that like so. Like that. And it's just the little label. a bit more of a weight down. There we go. I'll put that one on later. So yes, what I mean with the pages is I've got my pages here. I think there's 12 pages. Is because they are all the same size and um, they're going in a normal notebook. You get this bit that overhangs. Um, and as you know, I don't usually bother with that um, with my normal journals because I have different sized pages in the journal anyway um, and often there's lace on the side. So I really don't mind that they um, cascade waterfall out and get bigger. Um, but for this purpose, I want them really nice and neat. So what I do is make sure we are all level and then right into those corners, into the fold, really manipulate them in enough so that when you go on there, you're really tight with the grouping. And then I just want, where's my clip? Just want to clip them together. And then I use my ruler and my knife. Um, there's not very many um, pages. I think there's um, 13, 12, 13 pages. And where that first one is, I just use that as my guide. I didn't need to stand up for this. And then I just very carefully come along. Doing a few at a time. My uh, chomper isn't big enough uh, or strong enough to take all of them. Okay. So that is it trimmed down. Oh, let's leave that to the side. Get a little bit of a where the knife went through a little bit of a rough there, but we can soon straighten that out. There we go. Any little crumbs. All right, let's grab my bin. Keep them all into there. 
and that is them nice and neat. So when they go in there, the little notebook, it's all nice and flush. You can do this for bigger journals. Um, I've seen Tracy Fox do it for um, if she's doing the Traveller's Notebook. But again, I don't tend to bother because I like the different um, sizes of pages anyway, because I'll have like a smaller book page and flap out bits and stuff. So, but for this purpose, for an actual little mini notebook, I do want them all flush. Okay, so that's ready. This should all be dry now. my weights out of the way yeah it's all dry so what we need to do is measure what's going in here that little bit has faded so I'm going to just cut that off and we want to do it this way do I want it facing that way or that way when we read it? That way. I don't suppose it matters. But... Okay, so I'm just going to cut it on the inside of the stitching. That's that one. it inwards and then we do exactly the same along here okay so that can go in the little pot so let's glue these down I'll just make sure yeah I've got that the right way cover tap glue I'm going really close to that edge with this. That looks lovely. Perfect. Okay, so we do the same this side. Done. Lovely. So now I just want to put this on as the tie closure, and I want to do it before I um, um, yeah, before I sew in the signature, because then I can sew through this as well. That's fine. Okay, let's just write that down. So that's that side. 
this side I will glue all the way down. oozing out okay have we got should we go that straight not quite that's absolutely fine okay give that a moment or two to dry and then we are Actually, while that's drying, let's pop my little bumblebee thing on the back of it, seeing as I did make it. It's a cute little journal. down for a moment just double check the time on this one yeah we'll have time to sew this in and then she's done so while I'm getting that ready let's well, while that's um, drying let's measure out my thread Threaded. There we go. So needles ready. Yeah, the clips ready. Got me all. Let's tie this one up. dry enough now for me to um, punch this thing through okay so we're going to do this exactly the same way as I would do any journal we'll just put that on there I've moved slightly. Let's line it up there. Just eyeball the um, center, and hopefully, that is. Let's do it this way. Hopefully, I've got it. Oh, I'm all fingers and bloody thumbs. What's going on? That too. Yay! Oh, that is dead on centre. That's good. And then just come a little way down from here and punch one in there. A little way down and punch one in there. Lovely. So we come through, making sure 
to repeat the end on the end still. Hold on to that there. Now I'm going to do the stitch where you go all the way down and across on this one. There we go. Make sure that's out of the way. I need to make sure I'm over that side, don't I? So you come up like that. Okay. Pull that nice and tight. And give it a couple of knots. And then I want a little bow. And then that bow I do in a double bow. It's probably overkill, but uh, there we go. That is my little notebook. How cute is that one? So all the pages you can see they're all nice and flush on there now and we've got a little pocket here for me to put anything in that I want to put in. Plenty of space for me to write out what project and especially for my knitting markdown. Oh, that's lovely. Let's tie it up. think I've got a little bit too long a thread on here so drop there and there so there we go that's making some very very cute little notebooks just using these are the long um, CL envelopes I should have given you the size really shouldn't I uh, 22 by um, centimeters by 11 um, this will be UK size, so American, um, your letter size is slightly different to ours here. Um, but yeah, a couple of little projects using Rachel's gorgeous William Morris kit, envelopes, and making some notebooks. So I hope you have really enjoyed this video. I hope it's inspired you to um, make yourself and create some little fun notebooks. I mean, these would make lovely little Happy Mail gifts. Um, you could even put these inside of a bigger journal that you're making um, just as an extra little notebook. But yeah, super fun. So thanks very much for watching. Happy crafting, everyone, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.